Hi, this is Buzis Khan, and in this video, we will learn about path loss. Uh, this is the first video for a series of videos that I will be making. So, in this video, we will uh, give you a very brief introduction about uh, path loss. So, let me open uh, path loss itself. So, let's start from path loss version 4. So, you see that the path loss version 4 uh, which is which was the most famous i mean i started from this version so it was developed in 1999 so this was almost a year when i started working as well i started working in 1997 but i started from some other tools uh, dmle and other tools so up to 2015 and uh, they give some support of this path loss and then they reached uh, path loss 5 so path loss 5 started in 90 uh, 2009 so almost 10 years uh, 1999 and then 2009 uh, for path loss 5 as we can see the revision history up to 2017 uh, they are providing new revisions but then we reached uh, path loss 6 i just wanted to have the date from somewhere but it was i think in uh, march or april or some uh, i just wanted to show you a bit of history of path loss so basically path loss uh, 4 which was very famous started from 1999 and then in 2009 uh, they bring path loss 5 and then in uh, 2024 after 15 years of uh, path loss 5 they now came with path loss 6 which you can see on my screen uh, this is the path loss 6 this version the minor version is is upgraded um, I, I will make a series of videos where I will uh, show you uh, everything that whatever we can do in in the path loss so the initial introduction I wanted just to give you some idea uh, about the history of path loss I will not give you why we use path loss because I hope or I understand or I believe that everyone who is uh, curious enough that he is uh, looking at this video, he should know that uh, what is path loss or why it is being used. It's a transmission link planning tool. So uh, let me give you a small introduction of uh, this new path loss. So the main window is, is quite similar, but um, the biggest difference is that it automatically picks the background and i personally feel that this is a big wow because uh, this was something which was you can say that really missing or it was something which was uh, really required because uh, whenever you are doing a link planning and you are doing it on a blank not to terrain let me change it to street map so now you see that it has picked the same google street map of the area so this is uh, this is i i will say that this is something good uh, because uh, you can even go to the satellite image of the area so the same thing that you get on google maps you can get here so i personally feel that this single enhancement is also very very good enhancement and uh, the people who have been working on path loss previously they 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 should um, agree with me because uh, uh, i even i make videos for path loss 5 as well and i give a lot of uh, consultation to a lot of people around the world and i found a lot of people that are still struggling with the backdrop of uh, path loss they want to see that what is on the back of their uh, map that they are making the map back of the links that they are planning and they found very difficult to know but with this 
new path loss uh, this thing has become uh, very very easy otherwise you can say that most of these uh, if you are coming from path loss 4 or 5 then there's there are differences and we will go in in the detail of each one of it but generally i mean the file option is almost same like new copy configure is almost same like the previous one and operations is even almost same uh, there there is not big differences in in the user interface because they have not uh, they i also feel that they, they should not change it drastically i mean because people they are used to uh, working on path loss from last for example like for me i am working on path loss from almost uh, 2000 uh, when the path loss 4 was very very new so um, i'm working on it from last 24 25 years so um, if they make any drastic change then it will become a big kind of problem for me so there is no drastic change but there are very good level of enhancements so uh, we will go in in the detail of all of these uh, one by one i will make uh, my further videos but this was you can say that uh, kind of introduction where i wanted to show you some kind of history of path loss and i wanted to tell you that what is the major difference between this path loss 6 and its uh, previous version so so the the most major difference i told you is is the background and uh, how it calculates or it can uh, download for you the srtm files this is also they have made a direct link it can automatically download for you the background srtm files that you can use to make and plan your links so these uh, two things there are small enhancement apart from this as well but these are the two you can say that very major enhancements in path loss and uh, like from four to when we came from four to five at that time the introduction of point to multi-point and some uh, main difference of file system i mean like the antenna antenna files and the radio files so this was a drastic change between the two uh, path losses and introduction to the um, amplitude modulation and these kind of things so in the in the new path loss the main is the ease of the map that how much easily you can grab the map and how much easily you can download the map or see what is in the background of your uh, link so i hope that this introductory video should be uh, good for you um, and we should be uh, looking at at each and every aspect of path loss in very further details so this is the you can say the lesson one of my new series uh, my series on path loss six which i had been promising with a lot of my friends that i will make it so i will started making it from today so you will start getting this uh, i will make a playlist for path loss six and in that playlist you can get the new path loss 6 videos uh, hopefully on weekly basis as i get free i will make new videos and i will upload them so please like and subscribe my channel so that my voice reaches uh, more and more people because i feel that a lot of persons around the world uh, they are working on path loss and they are having some issues and they need to be uh, guided so i'm ready to guide them but uh, to reach them i need the support of you guys so that if you share and like and subscribe to my channel then the reach of the channel will increase and it will reach everyone who is looking for something like that so see you in my uh, next video thank you goodbye